Hi, and welcome to our blower door video quick guide. We will cover setting up the fan, setting up the building, and running the test. Here we have the blower door fan, frame, and accessory case. Next, we will assemble the frame. I'll remove all frame pieces from the bag and lay them out on the floor. The two vertical frame pieces should be parallel with each other, cam lever side up, and the horizontal pieces in place. I'll set aside the crossbar with a Velcro strap for now. All cam levers will be in the relaxed position. Both vertical frame pieces have a silver bar on each end with a small silver button on the bar. Push in the silver button and slide into the end of the horizontal piece. Next we will fit the frame in the door opening by loosening the adjustment knobs, extending the frame and then tightening the knobs. Now we are ready to put the panel over the frame. One option is to lay the panel on the floor. Another is to drape it over the open door. Now we can lean the frame against the red nylon panel and pull the Velcro over the frame to attach it. Now we can make the final adjustments to the frame and engage the cam levers. Now we will add the crossbar, tighten the knobs, and engage the cam lever. Before we install the fan, we will throw the green outdoor reference tube outside and off to the side of the motor. Then pull about four feet of the tubing through the small hole at the corner of the red nylon panel. Insert the blower door fan into the hole in the fabric panel with the flow rings facing inside. Insert the fan bottom first into the hole and then work the elastic around the fan until it's completely inserted. The top of the hole should rest in the middle of the electrical box on top of the fan so the plug inlet and handle are not covered. The bottom of the fan should be resting on the lower horizontal frame piece. Slip the Velcro strap through the fan handle and loop it up and back around the crossbar. Next, connect the gauge hanger bar to either side of the vertical pieces by inserting the hook into one of the frame slots. Tighten the mounting board clamp onto the hanger bar. The fan speed controller will be attached to the bottom of the gauge mounting board. Insert the female plug from the fan speed controller into the receptacle located on the fan electrical box. Make sure the plug is inserted completely as the plug or receptacle can overheat if it's not. Be sure the controller knob on the fan speed controller is turned all the way counterclockwise to the off position before plugging in the power cord. Next we will remove the DG1000 from its case and add it to the gauge board our next step is to prepare the house for testing. Close and lock all exterior doors and windows and attic or crawl space hatches, which connect the condition space to exterior spaces. Open all interior doors. Adjust all combustion appliances so they do not turn on during the test. This is commonly done by temporarily turning off power to the appliance or setting the appliance to the pilot setting. Be sure that fires in fireplaces and wood stoves are completely out. Take precautions to prevent ashes from being sucked into the building during the test. Turn off all exhaust fans, vented dryers, air conditioners, ventilation fans, and air handler fans. We are now ready to start the test. Turn on the DG1000 gauge by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds. After the home screen loads, touch Tubing Assistant to launch this app. 
This app will help you set up the tubing, mode, and device. Choose building tightness, depressurize, inside the building, and Model 3 fan. Press the play icon to launch the gauge app. Notice that the mode is now set to pressurize flow at 50, and the device is set to Model 3 fan. Confirm that the ring configuration on the gauge matches the ring configuration on the blower door fan. First, we will attach the green outdoor reference tube to the reference tap of channel A. Next, we will find the red tube and attach one end to the brass tap near the blower door fan handle and attach the other end to the input tap of channel B. With the fan inlet still covered, touch Set Baseline to initiate the building baseline measurement procedure on channel A. During a baseline measurement, channel A will display a long-term average baseline pressure reading, while channel B is used as a timer in seconds to show the elapsed measurement time. When you are satisfied with the baseline measurement, touch Enter and enter the baseline measurement reading into the gauge. Channel A will now display the baseline adjusted building pressure value. Remove the no-flow plate from the blower door fan and install the flow ring which you think best matches the needed fan flow. Gradually increase the fan speed by slowly turning the fan controller clockwise. As the fan speed increases, the building depressurization displayed on channel A should also increase. Continue to increase the fan speed until the building depressurization shown on channel A is between minus 45 and minus 55 pascals. Channel B will display the 1.50 pascal leak adjustment. Record this number. If the leakage estimate is fluctuating more than desired, try changing the time average setting on the gauge by touching the time average menu and choosing the 5 or 10 second or long-term averaging period. 